It's been a turbulent year of change, and it continues today with a leadership shakeup at Southwest Airlines. The Dallas-based airline's been at odds with a major stakeholder, and that is Elliott Investment Management. And this is all over the direction of the company, the down the road, if you will. Dawn White has spent the day over at Dallas Love Field talking to some travelers about the, the impact of the decision. And I would just be curious, you know, how much of this really does trickle down to the everyday, everyday flyer or the traveler? Well, Doug, most of the Southwest Flyers that we spoke to, they were not aware of the shakeup in leadership. But they do say they hope that the changes don't affect the airline they love. It's business as usual for these Flyers after Southwest announced Executive Chairman Gary Kelly will retire early. Six board members are also leaving and being replaced by six new independent members. Um, you know, Gary Kelly's been a part of Southwest for, for decades. Um, Obviously, he was the former CEO for a long time, um, so it is quite a big, bit of a shift um, to not have him involved in the company. But, uh, you know, I think, again, this is part of the uh, compromise Southwest had to make. Airline industry insider Ryan Ewing believes one reason for the abrupt change could be a drop in Southwest third quarter profits. It fell by nearly two thirds to $67 million. They were one of the margin leaders in the industry for a long time. And in the past couple of years, they've kind of fallen from that status. The news came as a shock to loyal Southwest Flyers, Gary and Rhoda Schobert. So all those board members have to do is not screw things up. That's their big challenge. Keep Southwest Southwest. Is it by choice that they're executing? And the new board members, what do they have to offer? Will they be changing what Southwest currently offers? Because uh, as frequent flyers, we actually like Southwest the way it is. And I do travel a lot. This comes as Southwest announced other major changes earlier in the year, including an end to open seating starting in 2025. Why would you make it more complex? Don't make it, don't make it United. If we wanted to fly United or American, we would be on United or American. <clears throat> Kelly and the board members last day will be on November 1st. <coughs> Excuse me. And South. West, other changes include premium seating and red-eye flights. Live in Dallas, Don White, CBS News, Texas. All right, Don, clear that throat. It happens to everybody. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. Thank you so much. Meantime, Fort Worth-based American Airlines sharing its newest earnings report with us, $149 million in net losses, but that is down significantly from last year, and it's better than the experts predicted. The carrier did see a record $13.6 billion in revenue. They say that is proof they're headed in the right direction for consumers. American also highlighted its handling of several major challenges this quarter. That includes hurricanes, the crowd strike outage, and a new contract with this flight attendance union.